welcome to my channel. Today I have come back down to London actually and I'm in Oxford Street at the moment and just going to do some street photography. I bought the 56 millimeter with me the sigma 56 millimeter which is a great thing is for street photography a lot of people with full frame cameras like the 85 millimeter well the canon m50 mark ii the crop sensor so the 56 millimeter is equivalent to about 90 millimeter so we're going to try and stick with just people today. I often get distracted by architecture and take lots of architecture shots but I'm going to try and stick with people as much as I can today. So hopefully you enjoy it. I'll put the pictures up as I take them and catch up with you in a moment. Okay, I'm ready for a couple of warm-up shots now just to get the feel of today's light. So I saw this checkered shop display and thought I'd get a couple of shots here with people walking past, which was quite nice. Then I moved on a little bit and I saw this chap taking a photo of a bike. And I thought, well, why not take a photo of someone taking a photo? So that's this one here. And then just to the right of where that chap was, there was a nice sign in the shop window. And I thought, I'm going to try and get some people walking past. And that seemed to work out quite well. I'm very pleased with that shot. And I did get another one as well of the photographer taking a picture of another bike. <laughs> and I thought that just... Uh, look good there so I moved on and I saw this shop display again and I thought that'd be really good getting some people walking past it was be the future just thought it was really good and then further along there was a sweet kiosk selling sweets and I thought that'd be a nice street scene quite colorful and then a bit further on there's the same sign or the same shop display but a different color so I thought I'd better take another one there so I've got somebody walking through that be the future anyway I carried on walking along here and over on the right I could see somebody on their phone and I thought that'd take a nice street shot so I took that one which I felt worked out quite well further up here I saw this couple across the road looking at the tourist maps I thought that would be a really nice street photo and remember today's project is all about people I'm trying not to take any photos of architecture if I can help it I'm just looking for nice backgrounds and street shots with people in this shot was quite good I just wanted somebody walking through the frame of this particular shop just thought it looked really good with the reds and I got somebody walking through with reflections in there as well which I thought was quite good Then a bit further along there was another shop with another poster this lady in pink and I thought I'd get somebody walking through that frame which I, I feel worked out quite well and then there was another shop really colorful and the chap standing in front and that was a nice photo nice and colorful with all the different colors sweets etc then of course there's a bus i've got to get one of a bus so i've got the bus driver here and i liked all the reflections in the glass actually it looked really good and then a bit further on i saw this lady got sort of ginger hair and uh, thought it just looked quite nice against the red wall there and then just over here across the road there was these 
building works going on and I thought that made a really nice background so I got these couple of chaps walking through and then I just waited a bit longer and actually decided to cross into that centre section so that I could get a little bit closer because I have got the 56 millimeter lens on the Sigma prime lens so of course you have to zoom with your feet so that's just what I'm doing and then I waited for a subject to walk across I just wanted one subject and there she is I felt that that came out quite well Then another shop display, tell your story. And that's what street photography is all about, telling stories. So I thought that would be really good. So I'm quite happy with the colours of this one and the person walking through the frame. And here we go, another bus. And I really loved the colours and the reflections in the window. It just looked really good. And then I've got exactly the same, another bus further along with lots of reflections in the window. And then these two chaps had the same jackets on. They must have worked for the same store, but I don't know what they were doing, but they were carrying a bike. I thought that would be a really good street photography shot. And then I thought this was really good. Make love, not war. A great background with a couple of people sitting there and here we have a couple of people outside the shop having a meal which was very nice now I saw this work went over on the right and I just like the colours, he's got red overalls on, I thought that would make a really nice street shot. So I just walked past him and to look back and got a shot of him working. In this shop front, just on the right, just over there, it looked really good. The colours were vibrant and somebody was standing there with his mobile phone. I thought that made a really nice frame. Now along here, there's a row of telephone boxes. What I wanted to do was capture somebody in between them. And I like this one because the chap had a red shirt on to go with the red telephone boxes. I can't remember when I last used one of these telephone boxes probably 30 or 40 years ago <laughs> anyway I waited for another subject to walk in between them and then I got a subject there it looked like he was marching so I wanted to frame it with the telephone box each side and somebody in the center so I just waited a little bit longer to get one more shot I just moved forward a bit you can see all the other telephone boxes there but I just wanted somebody to walk in between so a lady with a dog helped me out by walking along you can see she's on a phone <laughs> everybody's on their phone and then this one was a nice shot in Covent Garden with a couple of people walking past the arch and then I saw this white line and I thought I'll see if I can use that as a leading line and get somebody walking across it and I got this shot here You've got to try these different things out when you're out doing street photography. And I waited around and just got one more on that line with some people walking past. And I thought I'd better take one of the Covent Garden barrow with flowers on. And of course it's got to have people in the shot, so I've got a couple of people in the background there. And then I saw this girl sitting by this window and she's got matching hat and bag. What a nice shot that was. A 
Now over on the right I saw this colourful front for the um, a restaurant and I thought I just need some people walking past and I really wanted someone with the right colours which I did get and it's worth just waiting so I got this first person that seemed to go quite well then the next one but what I wanted was this next couple because they were the right colours they had pink and yellow jumpers that just matched the background nicely I moved further around and I just got a shot of this doorway with somebody but then here's a fairly common one this is a little archway where the lights are changing colours so I thought I'd wait around for them to change colours and get people walking through and then this boy was walking towards me his mother was trying to get him to turn round and face the other way so she could get a photo, but he helped me out. <laughs> I just love this shot through the shop window. Nice vibrant colours. Then I saw this chap sitting on his own with reflection in the glass so I thought I'd get that one. And then I saw somebody having her lunch I assume on the phone sitting on the steps so that was nice. headed over to Trafalgar Square now and I just wanted somebody either coming in or going out of the underground subway so then I got this one with a couple of people going down I really wanted somebody coming up so I just waited around a bit longer and then I had one person going down and one coming up, which was quite nice. And with a London bus in the background, which was quite nice. Now I wanted some panning shots, so I changed my shutter speed to 1 20th of a second and my f-stop to about f16 or f14. And I'm very happy with the results. I did have to put this to my eye to help steady the camera and then just waited for shots and took a few. now I started to head towards the Thames but I thought I'd get this shot of somebody on the bus and I've got a nice reflection of somebody walking and then first when I got down to the Thames there was this chap taking photos and so I asked him if it was okay if I took his photo and he was very happy for me to do that so then a bit further on there was a bunch of girls from the Philippines taking photos of one of their friends and I joined in and they were very happy for me to do this. Philippine girls do like their photo being taken. And then further along the Thames there was this absolute brilliant signage where I stood and got some photos of cyclists going past. So I've got that one there which I was really happy with. And then I, I waited for a bit longer and then got another one. I was just about ready to go home now so I took three more shots after this one and then started to head home. This particular lens was a great lens all day. I do love the 56mm prime lens for street photography so if it's something you're thinking about I definitely recommend it. It really is pin sharp. So thanks very much for watching and if you enjoyed the video please give me the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking that notification bell. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video.